Sagittarius. Happy birthday. Okay, you're gonna have to bear with me because my nails is really long as shit. So, let's see what we got for you for December. Um, it's December 14th, so this will be the, a Sagittarius reading for ooh, for the end of the month. Um, popping out all of them. It is your birthday this month, so you're, you're okay. You have a lot of jumping ones. Ooh, what do we have here? Okay, so the first card that jumped was the star. So the stars are about hopes and promises. Um, so maybe you have some new creative thing coming your way, something, some, um, like an inheritance of some sort. Maybe it's like you hit the lottery. My friend just did. <laughs> Um, maybe it's, um, you find something, maybe you reconnect with a lover, maybe you reconnect, um, parts of yourself. It's, a, it's about hopes, dreams, um, she's naked, so it's about also showing who you are, um, taking off your clothes, basically, but your clothes in a sense of, like, um, like, bearing your soul, showing who you are, who the real you is bring that shadow self, that deeper self, that hidden self out. And it might be the best parts of you. The shadows don't always have to be bad, but it's upside down. So maybe you're stalling on something um, that you need to go ahead and come forth with and come straight out with and just be like, you know what, fuck it. Here's the time. It's the end of the year. Fuck the shit that I've been going through before. Let's go ahead and just let me bear it all. So you also have the Knight of Wands, but he's also upside down. So um, this is like passions and fire and it's a fiery passion um uh, charging forward doing something that you need to do and it's obviously something creative because you also have the page of cups here the page of cups is talking to your cup you say it's a little cup talking to your cup it's like the cup would be more like you and the fish would be like and the cup would be like your inner child so talk to your cup talk to your fish Go deep down in your soul and figure out, like, what I love to do as a child. Where's my fucking dreams and passions gone? What do I actually like to do? I feel like we're in this huge transitional stage where people are rediscovering their inner child. And at least I know I have. For myself, at least, I've been um, doing more creative things that I did as a child. Drawing, painting, whatever. So whatever you like to do, do that this month. Fucking, um... Because it's gonna bring you, it's gonna bring you a new opportunity or a new material wealth. That's why you also have this page of pentacles. But it just seems like maybe it's where all these cards are upside down. Maybe it's not the right time yet, or maybe it's been the right time and you're not charging forward like you should be. Maybe you're scared. But if you are, the chariot's here to lead you. But it's about um, controlling opposite forces. Um, so this could be. Maybe two friends, maybe you in a relationship, maybe you and, um, uh, maybe you have just these two opposite sides. It might be two opposite sides of yourself trying to make a, trying to balance these and control these two opposite forces. Sometimes maybe you need to just let go of the reins and let them just, like, lead you almost. Let these two opposite forces just flow because a lot of the times we want to control things and... If you just let go, you'll flow to the ocean. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get there, but you got to just stop. Either start something or let the fuck go as I'm trying to control. The chariot is about controlling, though. So it's like, if you haven't gone forward yet, do it. Definitely do it. What else do we have for you? Mm, how does like I get out of here? Okay, so we have the six of pinnacles. So it's about balance for sure. And if you balance these two opposing forces, you'll definitely have a there's gonna be a give and take of something and you'll have enough to give and share and um pass around or whatever. Like you maybe it's sharing information even. Maybe it's you're not um Maybe you have your own spiritual path and your own spiritual things that you need to share and you haven't been. 
you know, now is the time to start. It's like, maybe you've been going back and forth about it. Um, or maybe it's a people, maybe it's a relationship. I don't, I don't know what you're personally going through, but, okay, what's this one? Oh, whoa. Okay, I'm gonna set these over here. So there's a lot. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Whatever you're doing, it's gonna be lucrative. So there's definitely, um, she's the queen of her garden. She's happy. She's creature comfort. She's relaxing. She's enjoying her life because she's put in the work. Um, so whatever you're doing, it's gonna, it's gonna, now you have the death card too. People are scared of the death card sometimes, but I love the death card personally. It's a scorpion card, um, Scorpio or whatever, but Okay, so it's a death of, it could be a death of old habits. It could be a death of a relationship. It could be a death of toxic people. It could be a death of a toxic job. It could be a death of just shit you don't like. I don't know. Whatever the fuck you don't like, let it die. Um, and I definitely think it might be some sort of person because it's like you have the Knight of Cups here. And the Knight of Cups, he's... Uh, delivering his chalice, he's delivering this message, he's delivering, but cups are about emotions, so it's an emotional message, it's going to be something, um, something that is going to, okay, let me see what other cards we have here, ooh, temperance, so it's har harmony, is going to be harmony, sharing, enlightenment all the shit along with justice so it's like these two cards kind of are like a lot of very similar justice and temperance so um you might be dealing with a libra um but your cup is full okay the the ace of cups to me is having a full chalice you have all the bubbly you have all the good drinks your fucking cups overflowing you're partying you're lit you're lit you're lit you're lit uh, it's your birthday. You might as well. You might, of course, you're gonna be lit. So you have enough to share now, and, um, and like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be like money. It could be love. It could be information. Something you're holding back on, though. It seems you're hesitant about something, but it, as soon as you control these two things that are like irritating you or like giving you trouble, you're gonna go forward, and it's gonna be dope. The fool is about jumping off the fucking cliff. So you're definitely holding back. Take that jump because he has this little dog with him right here. This little dog represents like spirit. And um, even if we don't know spirits with us, it's always with us. And it's guiding us divinely and on this path. But sometimes all we have to do is jump. And that's where you get the Ace of Swords and end it with the Ten of Cups, which is beautiful. This is a new beginning and an ending. But this ending is so happy. You see the rainbow? It's a it's an emotional happiness. So you're going to have fulfillment. You're going to have pleasure. And swords are about the mind. So something in your mind is <clears throat> that it's going to present you with like a new idea, a new avenue of business, maybe a new... What, what, what is the fuck you're doing? Whatever you're into right now. Maybe it's a, a new spiritual way of life. Um, but you're going to be able to cut through the bullshit and get to this emotional place where you're happy and you feel really good um i don't know if you guys watch abraham hicks but um she always talks about um being in the vortex um when you're in the vortex that's kind of like what it's kind of like the feeling it feels like when you have all this emotional shit taken care of all your baggage fucking when you're in the vortex you're so happy you're manifesting like that's kind of feel, that's what I feel like the Ten of Cups energy is. It's like being in your vortex, being in this place where you're able to receive um, blessings, where you're able to control these forces and just live in your fucking garden and celebrate. I'm going to pull one of the Rebel Dice. Ooh. Mm. These ones are kind of grouchy. I'm not gonna pull that one. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Abraham Hicks. <laughs> Those ones are kind of a bitch. Okay. Every subject is two subjects, wanted and not wanted. 
every subject is really two subject. There is that desire, there is that which you desire and a lack of it. Often even when you believe you are thinking about something that you desire, you're actually thinking about the exact opposite of what you desire. Okay, so it's like, um, don't put any resistance on your path, don't think any negative thoughts, and don't think about something and put like, eh, on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like ask for it and then push it out of your mind with your manifestations. I'm going to pull one more since it's your birthday and shit. <laughs> The most powerful law in the universe. Every thought vibrates, every thought radiates a signal, and every thought attracts a matching signal back. We call this process the law of attraction. The law of attraction says, that which is like unto, unto itself is drawn. So, basically your vibe attracts your tribe. So, what if you're putting out hesitant vibes to the universe, you're probably going to get hesitant shit back and hesitant ass people. You're probably going to get uh, hesitant ass money, hesitant ass fucking, um, whatever. It's just gonna be, like, eh. When you could be fully in your power and be manifesting and be in this place where you can get that dude, get that bitch, get that money, get that, um, new job, get that whatever you want. You know, get that spiritual enlightenment, get whatever. So, in Definitely whatever you're hesitant about, let it go. Clear your mind. These actually said get some sleep and uh, pull your shit together is what the other one said. So, eh, maybe we slacking for the end of 2018. Maybe it's your birthday. Have a fucking party. Get lit. But take care of your shit because 2019, it's all going to be, the beginning of 2019 is going to be dope. Once you start doing whatever, once you get over this hump, you're Gucci. So, okay, guys, uh, check out my website, tylerdesantis.com. Don't forget to buy um, the extended readings if you guys want to. I'm going to start those at the beginning of 2019. I also will have personal readings up for sale. And, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Love you guys. Bye.